Hello everybody, it's me Yeti, your host, and you're watching JazoCraft. So, how are you doing today? We are back on the JazoCraft server and ready to start playing. And as you can see, there's something shining at the back of me, but it's invisible. Look at that, that's what I call Elytra. And look what happens, when you hold an item, they appear, but when you don't, they disappear. Hi Jambi. Oh, be sure to check out his channel, because he's making videos again, and they are really great quality. Bye! <laughs> that Jambi, always amazing. So, let's walk around and have a look at our little mountain hill, because today we're gonna do another project. Are you ready for it? Because I definitely am. There is some stuff in here, but it's not really of use. But yeah, we're going up and we're going over to this side. So for the recording, sad face, I did not record the Ender Dragon fight because I was not on my desktop. I was on my laptop and it was not able to record it. So too bad. But we have to do it with the Elytra. And now it's time to start building something over here. What is this thing? Well, I'm not sure. I like, it's difficult to say, but it's going to be, what, what is it going to be? It's going to be not an Elytra launcher. Sorry guys, that's going to be in a future episode, but get ready, because it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an AFK fish farm. Why is it going to be an AFK fish farm? So we can get the mending enchantment for our Elytra, because right now they are already somewhat damaged. Yeah. So, are you ready? Cause let's get going. Once again, the chest has appeared, but this time it is empty. Yeah, it is empty, and I don't know what to do. No, normally it isn't empty. What? What should I do? Oh, I'm freaking out. Wait, two chests. There, there's another chest. Hey, that's the stuff we want to build with. All right, it has been solved. Ah, I, I was confused right there. I, I thought I put everything into this chest, but oh, I thought it disappeared. Someone stole it. Well, let, let's get on going. So inside here, we've got all the stuff for our fish farm. So we're gonna need the tripwire hook, the iron we're gonna need as well, the hoppers, the droppers, of course. We're gonna need some stone slabs. We're gonna need some building blocks as well, some spruce wood, some cobblestone and some green stained glass and that's actually it and now let's go over to the crafting station and build ourselves some stone walls to begin with also we want to make a stone pressure plate apparently i'm doing something wrong where's the stone there is the stone so i'm gonna leave some cobblestone in there take care of my cobblestone chest so we're gonna make ourselves a pressure plate as well um the button is not necessary we're gonna make ourselves a lever uh, right over there. I need to throw away this beetroot. Let's put it in here. Alright. So let's have a look. An iron door we still need. So let's make one, make three. Alright. That's that's also possible. And let's head over to this section over here. And I forgot something. I definitely forgot something. Uh, where is my wood chest? I know it's around here. But I don't know which one it is. Uh, nope, nope. Yeah, we found it. So we're gonna need ourselves some oak wood as well. And the leaves can go away. So we're going up here to the place that we have assigned for the nice little farm that we're gonna make. And we're gonna fill her up like so. And we're gonna do the same on this side over here. So we will have something like this. And it needs to be one higher. Then I need to grab myself the green stained clay, the dark variant, and I'm gonna make something like this. Then I grab myself some spruce, and I forgot to make something again. Up, oh, there we go. So let's place down some roots and make ourselves a couple of stairs. And let's make some room into our inventory. Gunpower can go away. Yeah, we've got a creeper problem in here. But it's going to be alright once we're done. Or not not really, but you get what I mean. 
So we're gonna place down or stairs. So this is where we're gonna begin with. And I also want to exchange this one for some spruce wood of course. So we're gonna place it like this. And then this is going to be the room where we're gonna make our nice little machine. And I need to think really hard right now because we're gonna need a dropper. And the dropper is going to be placed right on top of this block. Um, facing towards us. Then I can remove the block underneath. Do I've got an X? No, I don't. So we need to wait a sec and remove it. Then right behind it, I'm gonna place ourselves a hopper. Then I'm going to place ourselves the cobblestone wall, like so. I'm gonna grab myself a pressure plate, because that one is really important. It's gonna stop the water from flowing into the hopper, so it's a must, I tell you. Then right next up the list, we're gonna have to place a door. And for so far I can remember, we can place it on any block we like, but I'm gonna use the green stained clay. Right over there. So the door, um, this is the tough part. Okay, I, I need to search something up for myself, for the sake of this farm. So, I'll be right back with ya. Bye bye and until then. Oh, he winks. Or blinks, I forgot, I always say it wrong, Oh, well never mind, cause he is amazing. Ah, oh, I like this texture pack change. Let's wait a sec. Oh, it's so cute, Oh, And this part is done. So yeah, I've been away trying to figure out where I had to put the stuff. I added an extra dropper underneath the previous one, a hopper right over here to collect like the fishing rods that are going to be dispensed out. Also I made um, like, I placed the door on the correct position as well some stuff around it and now it's time to, guard, to start with some redstone and we're gonna start off by placing some blocks like this and we're only having two redstone dust in our inventory. Of course I forgot something. Let's go down again. Let's go over to this chest over here and grab ourselves. Um, let's see, what can I throw away? That I can throw away. And today we have to stay for 19. Yep, that's Dutch. For the ones who want to know, I am definitely Dutch. And I really like to see so many Dutch people in the chat down below. But keep in mind, we are an... English channel, so if you comment, try to do it in English, so everybody can understand. If you can't, like you're not good at English, well, then you can of course comment to me in like Dutch, but try to keep it English, cause we don't like it if someone starts talking Japanese, well we can't understand it, like it's kinda a bit weird if you talk in a different language. Um, in a place where there are like lots of people because you never know what they say. They might say something about you which you might not like. So for that reason we need to keep in mind that it's an English chat. Okay so we're gonna make three um, redstone repeaters and I need to make myself some more sticks first. So let's do that right now. Um, let's take out... Ah my inventory is way too full. But it's gonna be alright, so reds and torches. There we go, we can throw away that, we can throw away the axe. And now we can place in the cobbles or the stone. We can grab ourselves the torches and place them like this. Have two more of the repeaters. Now let's throw away that block and put the redstone right over here. Okay, so I hope that works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place a torch right over there, as well as some dust on top of here. We're gonna grab ourselves our lever, cause it's gonna be really important, and we're gonna switch it, and the door should close like that. Um, right now we're gonna go underneath here. So let me grab some more spruce, let me grab the repeaters as well. And let's go out like this. So we're gonna place two redstone dust. And one repeater on one tick delay. 
we're going over to the other side and for that we need to do a little bit of parkour and I messed up I messed up something again that's annoying whenever that happens I'm like confused so we're going around it so we have a little platform to stand on and I guess we need to make this one go down a bit if I'm correct let me grab myself some of the green stained clay as well or no we can actually do this with spruce then we're gonna place a block right there with a repeater on top we're gonna place another block over here with another repeater on one tick delay then this one will be going into a torch with another block on ah, I can't place it <laughs> sorry for my little problems here it's gonna take a little longer than expected to make this thing so another torch up here a block right there and another repeater on one tick delay like so and now if I turn it off it will start flicking like so which is what we want um, and I placed the lever in the wrong position I just noticed so we're gonna place two solid blocks like so and we're gonna place some like this as well then I'm gonna grab myself the tripwire hooks which are not for nothing they are really important I'm gonna grab myself some string and hey Jamie <laughs> he's flying everywhere nice so um, let's try to place some more spruce but first let's build out so we can walk over here and that should do it how does it look yeah I like it um, we just need to like place the lever somewhere so that we can actually turn it off or on um, and I think I know the solution for that because we can actually um, I wanted to have some lamps over here yeah let's I'm gonna skip forward a bit again I'm sorry but I need to figure some stuff out again <laughs> Building out of my head is really difficult. So, see you in a bit. Whoa, whoa! Oh, Jam Jambi, what, what are you doing here? Ah, you, you, oh, you scared me, man. Ah, ah, I'm sorry. What, what are you doing here? Ah. I'm, just, I'm just chilling out up here. Ah, what am I doing here? <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not too sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we, uh, are well, we uh, gonna? Oh, nice Elytra, man. Thanks. Yours is quite nice too. Oh, hey, this, I have one as well. Nice. Well, okay. Let's do something fun with them. You see down there the pool? Let's fly into it. But just behind, like the airplane, there's a little ring. So how about we fly? At first, through the ring, or uh, to uh, through the ring behind the airplane, and then try to land into the pool. Hmm. Seems easier. All right. For me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm most likely gonna die. Mm -mm. Okay. You've so. Got some... Um. You go first, so I can uh, watch you with the uh, zoom in button from uh, Optifine. Yeah. You ready? I'm, I'm okay. very wave, amateur wave at to, this. I'm... Wave to the people. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Be a little bit of chicken first. I'm ready. Alright. Go for it, man. Go! Oh, nice. And he's coming back. Come on. Oh! Ah, crashed. No! no. <gasps> <laughs> Did you die? Yeah, I oh. forgot to activate the wings again. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's go for a suicide run. Ready? I hope the wings are gonna open. Let's do this in F5. Oh, I've got no item in my hand and my wings are invisible. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, all right, this is going to be a tough one. Let's circle around to slow down a bit. And go down. Oh, we made it. Now into the Ooh. pool. Oh. <laughs> We made it. Wow. Nice. Are you ready for this? Oh, are you going for a second try? Oh, I'm nice. 
I need to uh, grab Candy, my stuff quickly. Thank you very much for that awesome flight. It sure is a wet day. Guys, I just wet my suit. I'm I'm standing in the rain and my oh. Well, let let's just sleep for a moment. It's gonna be all right. I don't need to worry. Maybe I do. I I've no clue. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's sunny again. Oh, I like it when it's sunny on my little mountain hill. Well, um, before we head over to the fish farm, let us make some fishing rods. Or, actually, I only have got one string. And I think I dropped it on the ground, so... Okay, no do for that then. Maybe we're gonna do that the next time. But I'm gonna show you the fish farm, because it is done. So, we've got the tripwire, which is going to uh, keep you from uh, re... Um, like... The tripwire is going to keep you from retracting the little fishing rod. Then we've got a chest. So this is our output chest and this is our input chest for the fish rods. We've got a lever to turn it on or off. We've got a skylight which is going to improve the rates. Then underneath here we've got like a hopper and we've got a dropper. And this is going to dispense like your um, fishing rod over and over again. The redstone is placed underneath like here. I had to um, figure something out with the like the end fills on the bottom of this device, but in the end it all worked out. Still need to place one block over here to finish it up. Like, dang it, wrong, wrong kind. My mistake. Uh, green. Let's place it. So that's it. So now our nice farm is done. Except for me, I still need to like cover up the back. I'm just going to use the green stained clay. And that's it. That's actually... Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I'm stuck. Ah, dang it. <clears throat> okay, I think... Ah, I'm messing up. Come on, stop doing this. Stop doing this, GT. You can make it. You can make it back up there. So there we go, let's have a look from inside the little um, modification room. Uh, yeah, I kinda had to cover myself in wood to work around here. But now we can see the device, let's see if there's still some items left. It doesn't seem like it, so it should work fine. And we can still refill the anvils over here. So yeah, I'm saying a lot of so, like so so so. I'm saying it a lot lately, but it is done. Our fish farm is working and if I flick like the lever on top of there, it's gonna work like... I wanna like uh, build it in so it doesn't escape. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, so last time, or Pigman got killed. I don't know who did it, but Manly Man was killed. Now we've got a new Manly Man. A little zombie Pigman. Okay, let's. I got I got a name tag from them. Let's let's see. Where's my name tag? Don't don't tell me I lost it, please. Where is it? Where's my name tag? Is it in here? <sighs> Lucky me. I found my name tag. It was in the ender chest. Of course, it is always in the ender chest. Well, um, let's make this one... The envelopes are gone. Let's make this one manly man. So, this time it's not a pig man. Uh, manly man. There we go. So we now have got a new manly man. And let's see. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hup. He is locked in place. Let's see. Can we do this? Yep, there we go. We've got a manly man. Nice. That's a really good ending. Huh, manly man? But why did he spawn there? It's like, how? 
Well, never mind, cause uh, we're just gonna test out the fish farm for now. We're gonna turn it on and see if nothing breaks. Alright, let me toss some items into the little pool. One, two, three. Oh wait, um, they have to be thrown into the hopper right here. So that's gonna be one, two, three. And now they should appear in this chest. One, two, three. Yep, we got it back. Um, and if I throw in an item over here. Yep, it works. It works perfectly fine. The device is working and I'm going to use this a lot to get the mending enchantment for sure. And I guess this was it for today. We've had a nice little fishing farm. We have had a new manly man. And it's time to say goodbye. And let me put on my Elytra. Oh yeah, see the little wiggle thingy. I love it. So, are you ready? Because I definitely am for the next episode. If you liked it, be sure to follow up the experience next time. Because it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I really hope you liked it. I hope you did. And I'm signing out. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Wee. I love Elytra.